A basic understanding of the carburetor function will be very handy for this video, so let's start there. The carburetor does three important tasks. First, fuel is drawn from the gas tank into the carburetor. Second, the fuel is metered to match the engine's RPM and load requirements. And finally, the metered amount of fuel is mixed with air and delivered to the crankcase at the proper time in the engine's operating cycle. Complete the pressure check by performing the same test at the carburetor's fuel inlet. If pressure tests show proper needle operation, it's time to check the carburetor mounting area and the manifold and gasket connecting the carburetor to the engine's crankcase for wear damage. The fuel pump is made up of a cover, a gasket, a diaphragm, and the pump side of the carburetor body. Position the sharp end of the tool at a slight angle and tap the tool until it penetrates the welch plug. Then apply light pressure to the handle until the plug pops out. Once the carburetor is disassembled, clean the entire body and its covers. Use mineral spirits to avoid damage to carburetor parts and blow dry with approximately 25 psi of compressed air. Reassemble the fuel pump beginning with a new fuel inlet screen. Fit the new screen into the screen pocket and press to the screen pocket step using Walbro tool number 500-15. The screen should completely contact the casting wall. Next, reassemble the pump diaphragm, gasket, pump cover and cover screw. If any of the carburetor components are damaged, replace them with original Walbro parts. A generic exploded view and a list of all the carburetor specific parts can be found at Walbro's website on www.walbro.com. If the carburetor passes the pressure test, it can now be reinstalled on the engine and checked for proper adjustment. It's time to reassemble the carburetor. Begin by reassembling the main jet o-ring and main jet into the pump side of the body. Install the fuel inlet screen into the fuel pump cover using tool number 500-15. The screen should be pressed to the screen pocket step and fit flush with the pocket wall. Reassemble the meter area using original Walbro parts. Check the lever height adjustment with Walbro's metering gauge number 500-13 and adjust as needed. The final area to inspect and reassemble is the primer pump assembly. Reassemble using the gasket, diaphragm, purge body, bulb and cover. If the primer pump valve doesn't seat properly or the primer bulb doesn't return to shape, replace the entire primer pump assembly. If the carburetor passes the pressure test, it can be reinstalled on the engine and checked for proper adjustment. Congratulations. This concludes the operation, repair, and adjustment of Walbro rotary valve carburetors. For more information on servicing Walbro diaphragm carburetors, the location of your nearest authorized Walbro distributor, and other information about Walbro and its products, visit our website at www.walbro.com. And don't forget to use authentic Walbro replacement parts for results you can count on. Thanks. Thanks for watching.